Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. As usual, we are going to watch a mystery related topic today. Just imagine that you are traveling by train, which is a time machine which would never bring you back. How do you feel? Well, you feel scary and crazy. But you would ask me a question, that are you joking? But there is a real incident which is said to have happened in Italy. Would you believe it? So I would like to welcome you all to the great mysterious story of the disappearance of the Zanetti train. This story starts from early 19s of the Italy and Rome. In 1911 in Italy, there was a train manufacturing company called Zanetti. The company to promote tourism started to manufacture a new steam locomotive train, and, launched a huge marketing campaign to promote the train to the people of Italy and Rome. And the Zanetti company mentioned their new steam locomotive engine train in the campaign, which was to advertise their train as same as the advertisement of the Great Titanic ship. As the company also mentioned, that the first trip was free of cost, and had all kind of needs like food, drinks, and other things to pass their time while traveling. But the company mentioned to the people, that this train was for all the rich class people of that society. And the company also mentioned, that there was only 100 limited seat. As the Italy and Rome people heard this news started to register their names, to travel in the train, in a large crowd, because there was no much new medium of traveling, so the people was very anxious, and excited to travel in the new train. The Zanetti train company said. The train was also ready to move with only two compartments and engine. And only consisted of 100 seats in the compartments. Date, 14. 1911. The train started its journey from Rome consisted of 106 members in which six were workers. At the initial stage of the journey, the people in the train were in a joy and happy mood and was celebrating their journey in the train and also was enjoying their meals and drinks which was provided for free of cost. So the train was also moving in a better speed than before. And to inform you this train journey was a long journey, so the train had to undergo many tunnels to move forward. So as usual while entering into a specific tunnel in which there was some miracle consisted in it. Because while entering into this tunnel, which was as long as compared to others, did not exit the train which entered into it. Even at the next day, the train did not reach its destination. So the railway workers and police started to search and investigate about the train, and get to know that while the train entered that specific tunnel. So the police officials thinks or analyses that the train could have damaged or attained a severe accident into the tunnel. So the police officers arranges a crew to go in search of the train into the tunnel, but the crew members and the police both couldn't find any train or trace of crash of train, which related to the case of the lost train, which created a feeling of fear and panic into the hearts of the Italy and Rome civilians. After this incident happened, the Italy and Rome people stopped traveling more in train and the Italy people maintained a huge distance from the train. However, there were two passengers found jumped off from the train just before the train got vanished into the tunnel, and was left of with some severe wounds, and damages was got while jumping from the train. After some days passed of away the man who jumped was getting cured and was in a stage of speaking, so he tried to somehow arrange an interview with the press reports of that state, and tells all the mystery he, and the passengers experiences while getting into the tunnel. Whereas the police were confused for the reason of the disappearance of the Zanetti train. And while seeing the article or news about the person escaped from that tragedy was getting called up by the police and started interrogating him. And after hearing the story set by the man who was getting investigated, was getting observed by the police officers. The police officials laughed after hearing his story and takes a note of the person's name and address and sent him off thinking that he was a cracker a mad person who had escaped from a mental hospital. Days going faster the police also started to recheck the passengers who were missing and while going through the passengers list they find the name of the person who the police investigated and misunderstood that he was a crap. The police went in search of that man who said those mysterious stories and finds him and the other person who had escaped from that train. So the police started to reinterrogate them. While they were getting investigated they started to say about the creepy trip. At the beginning, they said that the journey started as normal, but as the train approached the tunnel, there was a black smoke came out of nowhere as well as there was a dense white fog. While seeing that the train slowed down as it was nearing the entrance, and the fog began to increase into the train, and the two persons who tried to escape said that, he heard a strange humming noise beyond the black smoke and he said that he could see a creepy milky white fog creeping from the tunnel, and he also said that after hearing that creepy humming noise the people into the train started to behave in a strange manner, some people started to laugh hardly for no reasons, and some people even started to cry, some people were jumping up and down and some people started to harm themselves even though they were bleeding. So after that, he said that the white fox swallowed the train like a wave, and the first compartment of our elevated train split open it became so horrifying to him, and the train was barely moving so, he decided to jump from the compartment's window, and he also noticed another passenger who jumped at the same time, and he said that they both hit the ground hard and he said, that incident was the last he remembered. And he also mentioned that he had suffered from sleeping troubles and other stress disorders for a while. But as for the train it was never seen again. So the government and the officials thought it was best to close the missing train case. 
Then the strange and creepy tunnel was got to be bombarded while the World War II closing it forever. No one could come up with a sound explanation for this strange disappearance. Many people had witnessed that they saw the train while it was leaving the station from Rome, till it entered the tunnel, but nobody saw it come out. But that was not the last time we hear about the mysterious train. There are records of medieval monks of Medina, who saw a three-compartment train with people in it. How could they see a huge iron machine puffing clouds of dark smoke? At that time horse was the fastest mode of transport where even machine was not invented yet. Whereas a filder reported about the passengers were described were clean shave, and dressed in black or must be the work of the evil forces. You can say that medieval monks or sages made it up, but here is the thing their reports were kept in the records of Castacilia, stored by the Sagino family, and one of the survivors of the train had the name Sagino. Then in the 1840s, there was a report that the Zanetti passengers were seen in Mexico. A psychiatrist in a local hospital left a report saying that 104 Italians were all admitted in a historical state they were all dressed in a strange clothes, obviously from a different place. Unclaimed that they were traveling from Rome by a Zanetti train. One of the passenger had a cigar pack with a future date of 1907 on it, they say it is still kept in a Mexican museum. The psychiatrist concluded that it was a case of a mass insanity. But he failed to come up with any explanation for it, there are no records left for the patients after that. Many years later the train appeared again in Europe. On October 29th of 1955 there was a three-compartment old-fashioned train appeared not far from Zavlichy a small village in Ukraine of Russia USSR. The signalman Pyotr Ostominko saw the train moving soundlessly. He reported that he was in duty that night and suddenly saw a train that wasn't in the schedule that night and he also said that the train was moving without any track to Gasford Mountain. He thought he was in a state of obsession or imagination and then rubbed his eyes, but still, the train was visible to his eyes. He saw the train where certain square shut, doors were open and was running with the empty driver's cabin. Pyotr Ostominko says that he had never seen a train like that before, but he knew it was old a pre-old model of steam locomotive train. The description he gave was same as the Zanetti train. It's unlikely a signalman from a remote town in the USSR would know anything about an Italian train lost at the beginning of the 20th century. Where was the ghost train riding its way on ghost tracks? As said as the Ukraine signalman. I guess we will never know it. And again this wasn't the last account of the train appearance. As crazy as all these sounds could there be a scientific explanation of the ghost train adventures. Some believe that all the railroads are tracks Canada web that has its magnetic field, the trains serve as the electric conductor between the Earth's natural magnetic fields, and the artificial one. The conflict between the two forces creates fractures in time with endless holes. This explanation is based on Einstein's theory of relativity, and Minkowski's definition of distance. These fractures are called as chroma holes. Sometime before the Zanetti left the station there should be an earthquake where the tracks is believed that the crushed fracture which appeared under Lombardy Mountain created a time anomaly at the entrance of the tunnel. The train became the weak necessary to dig through the time and space and it fell from time vector, where it belonged and could move to other times. So, in layman's terms, it was traveling through time. In case you are already getting goosebumps, it isn't something to worry that it would have happened to you, because it is just one among urban legends. It got so popular that some paranormal enthusiasts devoted years in finding and proofs to the Zanetti train's existence. In the timeline more fake names and details were added and improved the legend as a real-life story. However, there were no shreds of evidence or proofs found in the given details of the story. These are all one among the urban legend stories, which would connect to the stories of the ghosts and trains, and if you have time to find you could the other versions of the Zanetti train. That's all for today and thanks for watching this video.